Welcome to my go-to stage makeup tutorial. This is the makeup I like to do every day for work when I'm doing a contract or doing shows. It's very full on, very dramatic. I love it. So if you want to see how I did this look, then keep on watching. All right, hello. I'm nervous. I'm going to start by pinning my hair back. So I just have these little clippies that I use. Also, if I look up here, it's because that's where my mirror is. I'll try not to. And we're ready to start. I need a wet the brush. So when I do like dark eyes or a stage face, I typically do my eyes and my eyebrows first, just so that there's no fallout. So I'm going to start with my eyebrows and I'm using this Revolution Soap Brow Little Compact. It's really good. It comes with a little brush, so I'm just going to use that. And just brush the hairs up. and then flatten that out. I'm very lucky because I have really thick brows, so it works out in my favor. Mm. I then go in with my Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil. I find that this one's the best for shows. When I'm doing daytime makeup, I just use the powder, but when I'm on stage, I use this because it's a bit darker and it makes my eyebrows more defined because when the lights are hitting, you want really defined Features. I remember in my first contract, I looked back at photos and I used to do my eyebrows so thick. Some of the photos, oh, they look shocking. My first contract, my, my eyebrows were just not it. So I feel like I've definitely figured out what works for me and what I like. For my face shape, they are very thick, they are very bold, but I think it works for me. And that's the brows. And then using my spoolie, I'm just gonna brush them up to make sure they're set in place. From here, I go into my eyes. So I just use a concealer as a little eye primer. I'm just using a Morphe concealer. I never used to use concealer, I know, disgusting, but I definitely use it now. So I use that and a Zoeva concealer brush in the number 142. It's just like this. So I'm just gonna pack that on and then blend those out. <laughs> Just like that. From there, I take a Morphe brush. These ones don't have numbers on them, I'm really sorry, but it looks like this. And I just take a white shade. I'm just gonna use one from the Kylie bronze palette and I just coat my eyelid in white or in like a skin tone color just to set that before I put on any other shades. I just feel like this makes the colors more pigmented. They blend out better. They just look all around better. Now it's time for eyes. It's my favorite part. <laughs> my favorite, my go-to palette is the Morphe 3503 palette, Fierce by Nature. Mine's a bit tattered and old and disgusting, but ooh, that's because I use it every day. I like to use warm tone shades because I feel like that makes my eyes pop and my features pop because I have green eyes. Now, I'm just gonna say this makeup is very full on. Like I would not wear this to go out or everyday makeup. If you wanna see an everyday makeup routine or a night like a clubbing makeup routine, let me know, comment down below. For stage you need to like really accentuate your features and like have really dark makeup just because the lights are like hitting you and when the lights are coming down they really wash out everything so you need to make sure that everything is nice and yeah accentuated I'm going to start off mixing this little orangey shade here and this one here and just blend those into my crease so just just here where my eyelid creases I'm just blending it up almost towards my eyebrow, but obviously not up that high. I'm definitely like probably one of the slowest ones. The girls can probably vouch for this from my work. I'm probably one of the slowest ones when it comes to putting a face on. I just love doing it. I just have so much fun doing it and taking my time doing it. So I need like a solid amount of time. There's some girl, my friend Jade can get her face done in like literally 10 minutes. I don't understand how they do it so quick and how it looks so flawless, but I feel like if I needed to, I could do my makeup in like, I've done a stage face in like 20 minutes, but it has not looked good. It's just, I just like to take my time. I'm gonna then use this little Morphe brush. I should have washed my brushes before this. And I'm going to 
use this darker shade up in the corner here and this little dark shade here and blend them together. I think with like a face, like doing a cut crease or something, it's all about blending and taking your time and really, yeah, blending is key. And I'm just gonna put this in the crease just under where I blended out that top color. Just to deepen up and really, that's got blended out there. Just to deepen up and really accentuate that crease. I feel like that is a hot, it looks like a hot mess, but it really, it's, you gotta trust the process. We'll get there, I promise. Then using that big fluffy brush that we used before, I don't add any color onto it. I'm just gonna blend out what I've already done, make sure it's all blended together and blend it up. And I'm not worrying about like the front of my lid because I am gonna do a cut crease. I love a good cut crease. Speaking of cut crease, we're gonna go into it now. I use that same concealer that I used before, that Morphe concealer. I just use a little like, concealer brush. I'm just gonna use that to carve out my crease. I'm gonna come in nice and close so you can see what I'm doing. But I close my eye down and I just pack it on here on the top and then I come from the inner corner and just do a nice big curve up at my crease just like that. And because my eyes are a little bit hooded, they're a bit saggy, I go above my crease so that when my eyes are open, you can see that cut crease. So it should then look like this. That one's a bit dodge. And I kind of end it just out here and we'll blend it together after. So that's the first eye. I'm gonna do the second eye and then I'll come back. All right, I've just finished the other crease. I feel like it's very trust the process moment. But from here, I take that same palette and I use this like beigey skin color up here. A big flat brush like this one. And I just coat that and pack that on just where I've done the cut crease. I then kind of like pat it out here too so it blends. A little bit. I'm taking this little tiny flat brush. They're so dirty. I'm so sorry. And I'm gonna use this little dark color here and blend it with that orange up in the top. And then just on the outer part of my eye here, I'm gonna press it down in like kind of like a V shape. From there, I'm gonna use a smaller version of that big blendy brush. So just a little one. And I'm gonna take the orange colors, this darker one here and this one here. And I'm just gonna blend out that outside so that it blends in seamlessly together. I take my angled brush and that dark brown that we used before, I outline the top of where that cut crease is so it really accentuates that crease and that shape. Then it's like that and I've connected it to the end where that other darker shade is. This really flat brush from before and I mix that dark color with the orange again and just really try to blend it out. It looks crazy to begin with, I know. So it looks really crazy up close, but then when you're far away and you've got the lights hitting you, it really accentuates your eyes. This is my trick to clean up your mess. I take my concealer again. I use that concealer brush from before and I do a line just from my, like the end of my eye up towards my brow. And that just cleans up that line of where that makeup is. And then that gives the perfect line for when you want to do your eyeliner after as well. So I get my concealer brush and I blend that out. That's kind of like my eyeshadow portion complete. How it looks. This is so weird, I'm like trying to figure it out. I love this. From here, I had to do my eyeliner next. I'm just using a Maybelline one. I had a Creolin one, which is like makeup that's made for stage, but I left it in Australia. So I've just bought this little one. Then I'm gonna do a little line from like exactly where I did that line there with the concealer. I'm gonna do the line from here up, just like that really light. Then I'm gonna connect it from the top here and bring it all the way in like that. So yeah, then I fill it in. 
Then from there, I can add to it. So I like to elongate it out a bit more, make it a bit thicker up here, and then really little in here. So I'm gonna do this and do the other eye, and then I'll be right back. So I've just finished off that eyeliner. That's how it looks. I feel like I've really figured out what works for me and what like makes my eyes pop. After this, I like to go into my skin. I'm gonna take the Clinique Even Better Clinical Serum Foundation. I actually haven't tried this for stage, but I always use Clinique products for my skin because I like get little breakouts and stuff like this a lot. And I feel like that this is the only one that, like Clinique is the only one that doesn't break me out. I used to use the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer every night, but as you can see, I'm not that shade anymore because I'm pasty white. I don't use a primer. Get my wet beauty blender. This one's from Morphe and I have chopped, I chopped it. Oh, I saw this video of someone with mold in their beauty blender and it freaked me out. So I chopped mine up, but mine, it was fine. I chopped it for nothing. So I'm taking this one and I'm gonna do two pumps. One, two. It's a lot, like it, it's really high coverage, but again, when you're on stage, you don't wanna see anything. You don't wanna see any of your problems. I know it looks crazy and my neck is so white, so make sure you blend down your neck. There's nothing worse, nothing worse, I can tell you, than going back and looking at photos and your pasty white. So I like to use a sponge and then blend the rest, like once I'm done like putting it all over my face, I blend it in with another foundation brush. Down that neck. I'm sorry there's a vacuum in the background, but I've got to keep the house clean, so I'm sorry if you can kind of hear that, but I'll try to... If it gets bad, I'll do a voiceover. Can confirm, it got bad, so I'm here. I take that Clinique foundation that's too dark for me and contour with it. So I do it under my cheekbones, on my forehead, and on the sides of my nose, and I blend it in with a stippling brush. I like to do this to really set the areas where I want to be defined, and then I can set it later when I bronze my face with a powder bronzer. I then take my concealer from earlier on and just do a little bit under the eyes because I have quite dark circles there. So I really like to cover those up. If I have any blemishes I want to cover, I will use this as well. But my foundation is quite high coverage, so it kind of covered it up and then just blended out with the beauty blender. Now next, my favorite trick to do is baking. I feel like it really defines my cheekbones, it really sets everything in place and it won't move. So I take a big chunk of my Laura Mercier translucent powder and do under my cheekbones, on my chin, around my nose, under the eyes, on the forehead, the whole face really. Then I'm taking a big fluffy brush and my Morphe bronzer and blending it all on my cheekbones, on my forehead and along my nose and on my jawline. And then I use the brush kind of to blend out my whole face to get rid of all that baking and that powder from before. I don't leave it there for long, I just do it more for structure. And then I'm taking my hourglass blush and putting it on my cheekbones, on the apples of my cheeks and along my nose. I love blush right now, I'm obsessed with it. I feel like it adds such a healthy glow. And then I'm taking this cute little Fenty highlighter and just putting that on my cheekbones and on the bridge of my nose and the tip of my nose. Then I'm taking this little brush that I used before and not adding any colors to it, just what was already on the brush and blending underneath my eyes, just along the lash line. I think we're safe from the vacuuming, I hope. Fingers crossed. So that's kind of like my face done. Now it's just mascara, lips and lashes, and then that, that's it for my routine. Let's put it on. So it's then lash time. I do my lashes before my mascara. I just take any lashes I can find. These are the ones I've got for now. Just fluffy big lashes. Take this duo lash glue. It's the only lash glue I use. I'm just gonna put it on the lashes. And then I just like to wait for those to dry. I'm really bad and I probably do this almost every night, but I forget about my lashes and I have to redo it like a hundred times. It's really, it's a problem. So while I wait for my lashes, I do my lips. I don't line my lips. I know it's weird, but I just don't do it. Just I think it's this. I use the Fenty Stunner Lip Paint in the color Uncensored. I don't use any other lip color. This one's the best color for me. It stays for like the whole show as well. Like I don't really have to top up during a show. 
which is really good because our shows go for about five hours. It's a really long night, so I overline my lips quite a bit. But, so that's my lips. I overline a little bit just at the top, but oh, I love red. I feel like red is my color. All right, I'm just gonna blow on my lashes because they're still really wet. And when I stick my lashes on, I stick it a little bit on the end up, just so it kind of creates a bit more of that cat eye effect. Oh, they just make all the difference. So then it's mascara time. So I usually use the Lancome Hypnos Drama, but it ran out. It's run out. It's my, this is like the best mascara. Lancome Hypnos Drama. There's nothing better. It makes my lashes look amazing. But I accidentally purchased the wrong one online. So this is just the Lancome Hypnos. And I just, I do my lower lashes first while I wait for that top glue to dry. And then I move on to the top ones. I love the lashes. I almost forgot. Another little thing that I have started doing, I take that brown color from before and I just add a little line from the inner tear duct just out a little bit. And that just adds like a little something to it. And then that's it. That's my face all done. All right, you guys, that's it for my go-to stage makeup tutorial. I really hope you enjoyed this video, something a bit different. I loved making it and I love makeup videos. So let me know if there's any other looks you'd like to see. I really hope you enjoyed this one. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe to this channel because I post every Wednesday and Friday and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Thank you.